demons everywhere. Haven't you seen them? You are blind. Mark 1 verse 39. So Jesus went about all Galilee, preaching in the synagogues and casting out demons. And the question we ask ourselves today is, where are those demons? Did Jesus cast them all out and there are no more? Could it be that the people of Jesus' time had that discernment to see the people who were demon-possessed? And the people of today do not understand that? Dear brother or sister, let me tell you that demons are more abundant today in this time of so much sin than in the time of Jesus. And the fact that they are not physically seen does not mean that they do not exist because they are incarnated in human beings through mortal sin. The human being who rejects the law of God has mortal sin as an integral part that is the treasure of his heart. And that is why he despises the divine revelation that teaches that Satan is the tempter and that he who does not overcome these temptations of the evil one surrenders to sin and as a consequence renounces his portion as a child of God to become the child of Satan. In the beginning, God created Adam and Eve in immortality, and in order for them to keep it, he proposed them not to disobey his law. Genesis 2 verse 17, God told them, But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall not eat. In the day that you eat thereof, you shall surely die. However, the devil, father of lies, in his cunning and trickery, trying to call God a liar, told them that they would not die. Adam and Eve listened to the devil and forgot God's law, so they fell into sin and died. And we simply preachers descended from Adam and Eve, have inherited the original sin that is the cause of the death of the soul. But it is not that the soul is mortal. On the contrary, the soul, being the breath of God, is the life that endures eternally. But life in God is life in His commandments and in His eternal light. On the other hand, life in sin is death itself, darkness, the punishment that Satan received when he was expelled from heaven to hell, and the punishment that God calls death, the permanent descent into that place of darkness where Satan reigns and receives all those who die in mortal sin. Fortunately for all of us, who believe in Jesus and accept his word. Jesus gave his life for us on the cross and saved us from eternal death. But, but accepting Jesus implies renouncing sin and renouncing Satan. Have you ever seen the devil? Surely not, unless God has given you the grace or a spiritual vision to prevent you from that terrible enemy of the soul. Yet, God has granted us the use of free will, whereby we decide whether we live to God or for sin, for eternal life or for the eternal punishment of hell. God has given us two ways to choose. Deuteronomy 30 verse 19 Today I make heaven and earth a witness against you, that I have given you a choice between life and death, between blessing and cursing. So choose life that you and your descendants may live. Demons are everywhere, yes. And who are they? And what are they like? First of all, they are all the temptations we continually receive to sin. 
Secondly, they are all the sins themselves that incarnate in our lives and make us offend God. And if we do not repent, we will simply become incarnations of sin, incarnations of evil, children of the devil, demons incarnate. Do you realize that we are surrounded by demons? Now, if you look inside yourself, could it be that you are harboring a demon? Are you in mortal sin? Are you then a child of the devil and not a child of God? Do you think that God will always consider you a child of God if you have renounced him and given yourself to the devil with your sin. Look how Jesus calls the Jews children of Satan. They claim to him that they were children of Abraham and therefore thought they were saved. John 8 verse 39 Our father is Abraham, they said to him. But Jesus answered them, If you were Abraham's children, you would do just as he did. But you want to kill me because I have told you the truth which I have received from God. Abraham would never do such a thing. Jesus said to them in other words, Because of your sins, you are the cause of my death. That is why you are children of Satan. And this is the same thing he says to each one of us. If you continue in sin, you are not a child of God. You are a child of Satan. John 8 verse 44, Jesus said to them, You are of your father the devil, whose desires you want to fulfill. From the beginning he has been a murderer, and he does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he lies, he expresses his own nature, for he is the liar, he is the father of lies. So, with these words, Jesus confirms to us that we can be children of God or children of sin, children of Satan, yes. That is what he says, you are children of your father, the devil. We are surrounded by devils, with very human figures, with smiles, kindness, earthly charms, yes, but all these are passing things. Where is our commitment to the Lord, the commitment to eternity? Are we blind? Of course, if we are in sin, we are not only blind, we are already dead in sin. We no longer have God as our Father. Our Father is truly Satan. Jesus himself has said so. And if we are children of Satan, who is the devil, then like Father, like Son. Then the truth is that we are already demons. Sounds pretty harsh, doesn't it? Well, it is even if it sounds bad to you, my dear brother and sister. Hence the call to salvation that Jesus makes to us. Mark 1, verses 14 to 15. Jesus came into Galilee, preaching the gospel of God, saying, The time has come, he said. The kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe the good news. Dear brother or sister, today I call you to conversion in the name of Jesus, because the time of the encounter with the Lord is near, and woe well, if you are not ready. Do not waste your time listening to so many unnecessary voices. Listen to this word of God. Leave it and live with Him eternally. Repent and believe in the gospel. Live in God and you will live forever. If you like this video, please give us a like. Subscribe to our channel, The Work of God. 
it is very important as you watch this video again to secure that gift that God offers us. Share it on social networks. And don't forget to leave your valuable comments. God bless you.